I'm Catherine, and I'd like to thank you for watching Ms. Yarn. This how-to video will teach you how to loom knit this pearl ridge stitch cowl. It's a quick project with great texture that doesn't take up a lot of yarn. And you can also try out different kinds of yarn and different colors to change things up. Now, before we start, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my Ms. Yarn channel. That way you won't miss out on any of my easy to understand tutorials. So during this video, we'll go through the following steps. Number one, how to cast on. Number two, how to do the pearl ridge stitch. And number three, how to bind off. And for the supplies, you're going to need one ball of yarn. I used Bernat Wool Up Bulky, which is a number six weight. You'll need a 41 peg round loom or a loom of similar size, but it can't be too small. Otherwise, the cowl won't fit around your head. You'll also need a hook, a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. I also wanted to show you how a different yarn, even another number six yarn, can change the length of your cowl. When I used the Bernat blanket yarn, the length was 24 inches or 60 centimeters long. And when I used the Bernat wool up yarn, the length was 20 inches or 50 centimeters. So let's move on to get this cowl started. So I'll be calling the peg on the left of the anchor peg, peg one and I'll be working clockwise and I'll call the peg on the right of the anchor peg, peg 41. So to cast on, we're going to make a slip knot and we're putting it on peg 41, even though we're working towards the left. And then we'll wrap peg one twice back to front. And then we knit the bottom loop over, which means we put the bottom loop over the peg. Then we'll pull the working yarn towards the center of the loom to tighten it. And then we'll move to peg two. And again, we e-wrap it twice. We knit over. And we tighten it. And then on peg three, we do the same thing. We e-wrap it twice. We knit over and we and we'll tug on the working yarn. It's better to do things a bit tighter than usual so that the cast on edge doesn't have loose loops. That's why after I work each peg, I do pull on the working yarn a bit. So now you can do your double E wraps on your own and let's meet again when we're closer to the anchor peg. So on my own, I've double E wrapped all around the loom and I'm just doing the last couple of pegs. Here on peg 40, I'm continuing as usual with the double E wrap. And on peg 41, um, we wrap the peg just once and then we knit over. And now the cast on is done. So now it's time for the pearl ridge stitch, which is a four row repeat. Row one is made up entirely of pearl stitches and then rows two, three, and four are all knit stitch rows. So to begin row one, which is the pearl row, let's put our working yarn below the loop and we'll dive into that loop with our hook. We'll grab the working yarn We'll pull it upwards to make a new loop. And we'll take the old loop off of the peg. And we put the new loop on the peg and then we tighten it up. So now let's purl peg two. We'll lay the working yarn below the loop. We'll dive into the loop with our hook We'll grab the working yarn and pull it upwards to make a new loop. Then we take the old loop off the peg. We put the new loop on the peg and then we tighten it up. So now we're going to purl our way all around the loom. So go ahead and purl on your own and we'll meet again when we're closer to the anchor peg. And that means that we'll be finishing up row one together. So I've done a ton of purl stitches and I'm almost at the anchor peg. I'm at peg 40. And so I'm going to be purling that. Okay. 
I'll do a purl stitch on peg 41. And now row one is done. So that's row one of this four row repeat. Now let's move on to row two, which is a knit row. We'll do e wrap knit stitches. So let's wrap two pegs at a time. And then we'll knit over on those two pegs. And then we'll wrap the next pair of pegs. And we'll knit over on those pegs three and four. And we'll keep working in pairs. That's just something I like to do. I'm working two pegs at a time just to help me remember that I'm on row two. So you can continue on your own doing e-wrap stitches um, all across the loom and we'll meet when we're closer to the anchor peg. So I've gone ahead and now I'm knitting the last few pegs of row two. Here is the very last pair of pegs. And now row two is done. So next we're going to move to row three and it's a knit row as well. So to help me remember that it's row three, I'm gonna wrap three pegs at once. So I'll be working three pegs at a time. So I'll knit over on those three pegs now. And now I'm working the next three. So you can finish up row three on your own and let's meet again when we're closer to the anchor peg. So here, as you can see, I've gone ahead and I'm just finishing up row three. I'll just do another set of three pegs, even though I'm technically going into row four. And now row three is done. So now let's move on to row four. And again, to help me remember, I'm gonna work four pegs at a time. So you can go ahead and knit on your own and let's meet at the end of this row. So here I fast forwarded to go closer to the end of row four. Now I can't do a set of four, I'm just gonna do a set of three because I'm already at the anchor peg. So now row four is done and that's the end of our four row repeat. So now let's move on to row five. So row five is just like row one, which is a purl row. And after that, you'll do three knit rows. So let's continue doing this four row repeat, which will add some nice texture and nice interest to your cowl. And when my cowl is tall enough, I'm going to end with a purl row, not a knit row. So knit on your own and we'll meet again when it's time to bind off. So here I've jumped ahead and I've done four of those purl ridge sections and I'm just finishing off my last purl row before I bind off. So I'm just working those two last pegs. And that's great. Now I'm ready to do the final step, which is the basic bind off. So to bind off, let's loosely wrap pegs one and two, and then we're going to knit over. Now we move the loop from peg two over to peg one. Now we knit over on peg one, and we'll move that loop over to peg two. So now for our purposes, let's say we have a new peg one and a new peg two. So we wrap peg two kind of loosely. 
we knit over, we move that loop over to peg one, and then we knit over. Now we move that loop from peg one over to peg two. Okay, great. We have a new peg one and a new peg two. So again, we'll wrap loosely peg two. We knit over. We'll move that loop over to peg one. And then we knit over. We'll move that loop over to peg two. And we have a new peg one and a new peg two. So we're going to keep binding off like this and make sure that you don't wrap your pegs too tightly. Otherwise the cowl is going to bunch up at the top. So keep binding off on your own and let's meet when we're closer to the anchor peg. So at this point, as you can see, I'm almost finished with my basic bind off. So now I have just one loop left on my loom. So I'm going to cut off that tail. And then I'm going to take that tail and put it through that very last loop. I'll move the loom out of the way. And so now I need to work on closing the gap between the beginning of the bind off and the end of the bind off. And then I'll weave in the tail at the bottom. So with my yarn needle, I'm going to try to close that gap. Okay, so just try your best. Here you want some yarn to kind of fill up that space between the beginning and the end of the bind off. Okay, looking good. So what I'll do now is just weave in that end. So now the very last thing we need to do is just weave in the tail from the cast on edge. So I wove in the tail on my own and now the pearl ridge stitch cowl is complete. So if you like this video, please share it on your Instagram or in a Facebook group.